got this stuff going. What are my options in this game? Oh, well, don't have that. <laughs> I couldn't stream that even if I did. Uh-huh. I'm going to put change jump button. Swap jump button with the cancel. That, maybe. Maybe. What's, what HUDs? What's Pro? Good voices. French. No, let's, let's just keep it whatever. Okay, back, back to the game. Alright, well hopefully the game's not too loud. I don't think it is. It doesn't, it doesn't seem that loud. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I always have to remember how to like play this game or like the controls. That's my biggest problem with it. I haven't gotten the muscle memory yet. It's one of those games where every button does something, so it's like you gotta know what you're doing. Right, last time I remember I just got here, so what's what are you? Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Mm, let's see here. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry too, Nana. Say, Traveler! Where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you see... I'm the last of the Hyruleans. The greatest... Oh, wait. Yes, I see. That Sheikah Slate is a symbol. It means you are the Hero of Legend. So anyone that just walks in with the PDA is the Hero of Legend, huh? Though there are few who know of such legends anymore. But we Sheikah have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, Lady Impa. Where is she? At the farthest part of the map. Lady Impa's house is below Lantern Falls, just over there. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. Hey, I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. I mean, I am like... I, to be honest, a hundred of those years I wasn't doing anything. I was just kind of sleeping. Free branch. Wow, look at that rooster. Damn. Take a good look at that thing. The fine plumage. Okay, so they have a very kind of Shinto-like uh, culture, it looks like. I guess that makes sense. The Sheikah always seemed like ninjas, at least from how Sheik was in... Uh... Alright, okay, let's do the Zelda thing and barge into people's houses. Is that a frog pack? Shrine nearby. Uh-huh. That'd be kind of neat if they ever made a Zelda game where you play as Sheik. Or Zelda. Yeah, spoilers, Zelda is Sheik. I think people know that by now. I mean, that's not really... You'd have to, like, either A, never play Ocarina of Time, or B, never played a Smash Brothers game. Kind of figure that one out. Or not know about that. Can I roll? Oh, I can dash. Okay, that's better than rolling. Oh, it'd be funny if someone made a demake of this. Put it in the Ocarina of Time engine. I mean, couldn't put the full game, but definitely do like some of the cities. What's up here? Oh, there's the shrine. Oh, should I go visit it now, or should I? Well, let's let's do it now. Stop that uh, that beeping. What's up, Shiro? How you doing? How's your day going? All right, let's go in the shrine. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, you don't want to be tilting your controller, hitting people with it, I guess. It must look weird on the bus if you play it, like, in public, like in, um, 
what's it called, portal mode or whatever. Talo, Talo Neg. I get a chest right off the bat, that's pretty good. Oh, nice! A single-edged sword traditional to the Sheikah tribe. Forge using ancient tech. And another chest! This is gonna be the easiest shrine ever. Shield of the Mind's Eye. A small Sheikah made shield designed to decrease blind spots. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Oh, my inventory is full. Alright, well. Alright, time to get rid of the crap. Let's see. Well, this one, this is the weakest, so let's drop that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hmm. Oh, that's no problem. As long as it doesn't shoot lasers at me. Use side... Use this. Why don't I just use shield glitch and just go through the wall? <laughs> All right. Yeah. I can, okay. So let's see. What weapon do I have equipped? I got a decent bow. I want to use my special arrows. Well, they did give me this weapon. I could use that. Durability up. <laughs> that one's two-handed though. And again, I don't want to use a shield, so let's go with this. I can do a nice jump swing! Is that even hurting it? What if I just shoot it? It can't move! Nope, it doesn't seem to hurt it. I don't know. I mean, it, it doesn't... It can't move, so it's like, why don't I just use... Wait, dodge enemy attacks by... Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Some kind of, like, timing minigame. And create an opening to strike back. So that, so I guess this stuff doesn't work until I unlock it here, until I go through this tutorial, because it wasn't, that stuff wasn't working before. Should I waste the good stuff on that? I guess so. You can repel attack. All right, cool. Finally, the parry. Strike boy with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening. Okay. Parry the right time to knock an enemy back. Okay, finally I can parry. Oh, but I gotta press a button to do it. Oh, I see. Okay. So you can hold down that. Yeah, no damage, I've noticed. But I, I think what happens is th this is just a tutorial. Which is nice, because I need these mechanics, because it's... It, that way I can actually kill more of the uh, goblins and stuff in the overworld. Build power, release. Oh. Well. There we go. Oh, and I get a laser sword, wow. Not very durable. Okay, so don't use it too much. What is that, a cog? Alright, I finally unlocked his, like, combat skills. Which I'm definitely gonna abuse the heck out of, because they're all timing-based. That parry, for instance. See, originally when I had this game, I stopped playing before I got to this point, so I didn't know there was a parry system. Or like a dodge system, but now that I know that, the combat's gonna be a lot better. 
Opal. <coughs> it might even get crazy. It might be like God of War, where it's like you can just block anything. Though God of War is really cheap because you can interrupt all your animations with the block. But similar to like Punch Out or other Nintendo games, it's basically a, a combat system that awards uh, counters. I wonder if that means the enemies have feints. That would be interesting. So now hopefully that the Sheikah slab will stop bugging me about this shrine. And go see Impa. Did I get these apples? I mean, they're there. I might as well take them. Find the tree. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't need that last apple. They only, they only recover like a certain amount. Oh wait, will this work? It does. Okay, well now I don't need this. Just drop him down. There you go. A pumpkin patch. Open 7 a.m. to 5. Well, it's not. It's closed. That's dangerous unattended fire. I think I went in here, right? There's no one here. People have to live in these places. They have to go back inside at some point, right? I see that person went inside. Or that kid. Here's another kid. What's his deal? Hi. Coltla. I'm going home. That's your home? Well, I can, I'm gonna burn it. Are there any adults here? Like what? Coco must stay awake until father's home. Coco must stay awake. How can I keep Coco awake? I don't know. Dad comes home. What the heck are you doing harassing my children? Oh, uh, it's, it's okay. I mean, you know, it's not weird. All right, let's talk to this. Oh, she's got clothes. Remote. You're right. I could just, I could just leave a bomb. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Yeah, I can just. Here we go. There. We'll get him when he comes in the door. Ah, I'll show him. Boom! Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that sword does do a lot of damage. I wish it showed durability. I guess that... Is it the blue bar next to the weapon? Or no, that just shows that I got the weapon selected. Yeah, it doesn't show the durability number, so I never really know how much, like, how brand new my weapons are or not. There's no stat as far as I can see. All right, let's talk to a lady that wants to sell clothes. Enchanted is open for business every day of the year. Oh my, look at that face. You are totally my type. Hi. Um, okay. You know, you can sweet talk me all you want, lady, but it really depends if you have good clothes. And you even have a Sheikah slate on your hip. Wait. Huh? A Sheikah slate? Isn't that like an incredible thing that only incredible people can have? I'm not sure what this all means, mister, but it seems you're a great deal more important than you appear. Right, do you sell enchanted clothes or armor? Ah. Guess I gotta go inside. Oh, okay, so she's like... Oh, well, well, well. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. By, by the by, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect. Oh my god, I can be Metal Gear Link? But it offers very little defense, small price for the extra health. 
enchanted diamond armor, and we need some dragon scales. But we need what? What is this thing? Trousers? No, I'm good on that. Is this how I shop? I just go up to it. Tunic, carbon ga garb that achieved widespread popularity, particularly among travelers. Its light yet sturdy fabric doesn't limit movement. Yeah, but it's gaudy. Oh, here's a hood. Used traditional is made from a sturdy to protect travelers. What am I, Aragon? I don't need that. What about this haircut? Stealth mask. <laughs> may look like a. Ra oh, my stealth goes up. Oh man, the Sheikah armor though, that's that's tempting. It's actually worse than the pants I have. Is that it? You got anything behind the counter? Can I get a special <coughs> Clary Clary collection? Please take your time looking around. What Clary collection? As in high end collection curated by me, Clary, but of course. I've personally selected each and every item in here using my flawless fashion sense. It is all highly recommended. Each item has its own unique features and abilities, so take a good look. Yeah, but this one doesn't. You need something else? Uh, no. Come back anytime. Okay. Uh, this one has no, like, magical properties. I mean, three just does one, one more armor than this. But this one gives me a stealth up. How much is this? Oh, but this one's way cheaper. Three, huh? How much is this? 500. So you gotta be like, you gotta have some cash to buy the stealth. I might go with the stealth chest guard and then the hood and be all Assassin's Creed or some crap. Let's go with that. Miss Jules, thank you for the raiding party, Miss Jules. How's your stream? I'll take this. This looks good. Made a great purchase. I did, didn't I? I'll give you a shout out since I do have the command. Oh my goodness. But thank you very much. I hope your stream went well. There we go. Smite! Hello, how are you? You caught me like while I was playing Zelda. I'm not very good at Zelda, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. What's up, Fallout? What is this? Rumor mill? She just has a magazine about rumors? Reed, who loves gossip more than a solid three meals a day? Tracy, of course, and anyone else reading this, I'm sure. Today's top gossip spot is the Lover's Pond. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have that. Legend says that those who find this pond are sure to also find their true love sounds worthwhile to me. That's it? That's not a rumor, that's more of a location. Five stars. Oh, I, well, I guess she only had one, one outfit. How's everyone doing? I just started this game, like, this is only my, uh, second stream of it, so I'm fairly early on. Take this hood. I'll be back to stock up? Okay, whatever. Time to play dress up. I'm gonna keep this, because it actually makes me, like, survive the cold, but this has better defense. And then, you know, this, there we go. Now I look like I'm, I'm pretty well equipped. Who's the chickens? Well, whoever owns the chickens really likes chickens. Like, really likes chickens. Should I? I mean, I am enjoying it. Um, it's gotten a lot better since I've unlocked the um, the combat because the combat was fairly basic. But apparently, there is a dodge and a parry mechanic. I guess that's like a chicken bed. Who lives here? I also like how they um, they have like a schedule. So if I do camp out here, eventually someone's gonna come back to this house. Like whoever lives here. Is it this guy? Huh? Hey you, I'm here to bug you. Hey! Mm. Rare to see a young lad like you in the village like this. You aren't part of the Yiga clan, are you? Oh my, I don't know what that is. I'm just pulling your leg, you look so serious I couldn't help but goad you a bit. 
We call those who who swear allegiance to Calamity Ganon the Yiga clan. They, well, let's just say they don't take kindly to those who stand against Ganon. It seems they're active again, ever since the big earthquake the other day. But don't worry, I don't think you're part of the awful Yiga clan. I can figure that much out just by looking at you. Hey, what's up, Nevander? How you doing? Please don't hold it against me. Here, take this in exchange. Oh, a pumpkin and a fortified one. How do you fortify a pumpkin? Just drop it in for a bit before bed. Oh, that's cool. I do know I started my stream a lot later than I normally do. Oh, that's their specialty. I put my heart and soul into every one of them. They're delicious. If you want more, I can give you some. Just stop by the fields and say hello. All right, pumpkin man. Are you the chicken guy? No? Where are you going? That's right. Keep walking. Another chicken. Oh man, a fire. I'm tempted. But that would be mean. What is this? Prey? Oh yeah, I'll, sure. <coughs> Claim their spirit orbs. Oh wait, do I have enough orbs? In exchange for spirit orbs, I'll amplify your beans. Tell me. Oh man, um, I'm gonna go with the heart container because I'm only I only have like four. I shall grant you the power you seek. You know what I really do like about this game, though, is the fact that like it is kind of it's very barren. But it makes sense with the plot, being that it's like a hundred years after Calamity Ganon pretty much took over Hyrule. So it reminds me a lot of NS, uh, NES Zelda. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Different places. Are they? Well, no. Yeah, actually they are. Instead of the A button being where the... Um, it, okay, wait. You know how on the Xbox controller, the A button, it's like A, B, and then X, Y? It's the total reverse on the Switch, which makes sense because that's how it is on the Super Nintendo, and that's how it is on the Nintendo. B comes before A for some reason. My theory to that is because, you know, Nintendo's a Japanese company and they read right to left. So when they released the NES, like back in 1984, uh, they did their buttons backwards. Backwards for us, but forwards for them. So, I grew up with B being before A. Switch between them. It's not that confusing. I mean, like, if you go with the, the prompts, but for the most part, it's like... I mean, the, the Pro Controller is, like, almost exactly the same. Because I got my, what, my Xbox, like, one Pro Controller. Pretty much the exact same, like, layout, analog stick. This, this guy's got his whole little, like, one room just for himself. What are these, radishes? Carrots! What, what is this stuff? Sneaky river snail? Well, it's not so sneaky now. How can it be sneaky when it glows? This place looks nice at night. The only thing that weirds me out about night is there's this owl. And you can always hear this owl, and it goes, hoo-hoo, and you don't know where it is. Oh, wait, are these fireflies? And it's like, it's not on the map. It's like, why give me a sound effect of an animal that I never see? That chicken got up there. And it's not that owl, it's a totally different owl. Yeah, I just got to this village, so I'm still, like, checking it out. I don't know what... An inn? Oh, good. I get to rest there. Yeah, see that one? The one that goes, hoo-hoo? That one drives me crazy every time it's nighttime. Right, well, it's nighttime. I can barge into people's houses. Actually, it's 2.40 a.m., apparently. This person's not home? What are they doing? I can steal this bow. Oh no, it sucks. Never mind. I don't want it. Oh, 
Grab the lizard. This looks like a potion shop. The Curious Quiver. Hey, you think it has the shop music from uh, Ocarina of Time? Nope. I thought it did. We got fire arrows. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is definitely... That's why there's a bow in the back. It's like it's... But you'd have something to shoot. I'll talk to her. Why not? You'd probably just be like, I sell arrows. Young folks in this village don't have much use for a bow. It's the... what? Then where do they get their swords? Uh... Right. I mean, if this is like... Also, if this is sort of a Shinto samurai type culture... This is probably where they get... Well, that's where they get their carrots. Hey, what's up, Never Conquer? How are you doing? High Spirits Produce. Okay, so that's the grocery store. Wow, is that cheese? Oh, it's goat butter. Bird egg. Guts. And swift carrots. Make a swift elixir with that. I guess I'll talk to you. Why not? Ah. Why, hello, weary traveler. Welcome to Kariko Village. Here we are blessed with the protection of the goddess. That's why we have so many healthy, happy animals. Just, well, you have a lot of, like, just ca um, chickens. My products are locally grown, fresh and seasonal, true, truly choice goods that bring something special to any recipe. Uh, Go on, grab one. Am I here for something else? I want to cook! Recommendations? Uh. Recommendations? Let me think. Well, everything I sell, really, of course. But I really, but if you want specifics, there's always swift carrots. My, my mister grows them. They put Kakaru Village on the map. Actually, to be honest, there's one other crop, fortified pumpkins. <sighs> I'd sell them here, but you see, my mister and the pumpkin farmer, they don't exactly get along. So if you want fortified pumpkins, you gotta go to them straight from Olkin's Patch. Uh, I didn't know there was so much drama in the grocery business. Alright, I'm out. Stop by any time. Well, I haven't found a place that sells weapons. Oh, I can cook here. Hot lid. I mean, that's like, um, that's the elder of the village. That's where I have to go. Right, well, this is clearly an inn. <clears throat> oh, wait, here's some someone. This person looks like they sell stuff. I better wake him up. Great fairy fountain, I will find you. Oh, you're an adventurer named Pekango. What a name. That's that's some job devotion right there. Ooh. Are you a guest? I suppose so. You scared me half to death. Oh. Well, the regular bet is 20 rupees! The difference? Uh. Stuffed with premium cuckoo feathers or something, I think. Sleep on that and, uh, you know, you'll be more energized. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna go see the, the Elder then. Oh. I got full health. I don't need... I don't need to sleep. Link is beyond sleep. Heck, it's already daytime. Soft bed sounds like a scam. Yeah, it's just the same thing. You know, it's like in The Simpsons when uh, Homer goes to the beer factory. And it's like diet duff and a normal duff, but they come out of the same pipe. You there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm. Is that a Sheikah slate? Am I supposed to be afraid of two senior citizens? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Can it be? Oh. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard the legends from Lady Impa so please... Friend, go ahead and step inside. You know, I feel like I should put an apple here. But don't you? It looks like it. Yep. You found me! Weirded out yet? 
So normal people can't see this, right? So it just looks like Link is just kind of kind of being weird. See, that's why that guy back there is eyeballing him. What's he doing? What's his boggle? What the fuck is that flying thing? Oh, it's like a spirit of the forest. Only Link can see him, because, you know, he's special like that. Oh, man! That's right. I'm all man. I'm... I'm Link. Look at that. It's not a Zelda player. I think they were introduced around Wind Waker. Huh? Is that... It's a Sheikah Slate! Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Link Doodle. Oh, it's not that. I forgot. I'm just so bad with speaking. As for me, my name is pa Papaya. You know, like the fruit. Phew, <sighs> I got it now. I know. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. See, I, like, the thing is, Link is not pure Hyrulean, because if you notice, he's shorter than most of the other people in Hyrule. So he has some kind of, like, like, uh, fairy blood or something else going on. That's why you can see magical creatures. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting, awaiting your return ever since I was little. Please, please hurry inside. Also, this particular Link died a hundred years ago. He died fighting Ganon. And then Zelda, in her last gambit to save him, put him in the Shrine of Resurrection. He actually is a badass. He's a legend. What happened was, like, a hundred years ago, Calamity Ganon showed up, and then Link fought, Z fought fought him, right? But Zelda couldn't use her powers yet, she didn't know how to awaken her magic. Because it, it, it's a cycle, there's always a Zelda, there's always a Link, right? They get reincarnated. But that, but the Link that, like, protected Zelda, he fought, he fought him off, but then he died, and then Zelda put him in the shrine. And then this game takes place a hundred years later when he wakes up. Which means Ganon's already won. So, you're finally awake. That's a hat. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? No. Ah. Huh. He also has the typical trope of having amnesia. So he, so it's like, you're told the story through flashbacks and stuff, the way he remembers him. I'm a stranger to you, those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. Which also explains why he starts with three hearts. He has to regain all of his lost power. I guess dying and coming back to life is not that easy. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Nope. I see, you have lost your memory. Huh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Hmm. Well, a hundred years ago... Here we go. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone... Alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to, to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. But not a sword or anything cool, just words? Words aren't going to do anything to Ganon. I've been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, oh. you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memories. I'll leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. So throughout this game, I wander around, right? And you see, like, these old battlefields where there's all these old robots and stuff? It was Link who killed them. Like, it, it, was, it was Link that did the big battles. But once he fell, it was pretty much over. She, he was the last of Zelda's champions. He's, like, the chosen one. What is this? Like a little chair? Oh no, it's a vanity. Oh, it's, it's wrong with me. Is 
So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready now. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the princess wrist? There, also behind her is a tapestry of the legend of Calamity Ganon. From, like, a thousand years ago. Part two, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life? I mean, yeah. Sure. <laughs> See, because if you look on the back there, it's like there's Calamity Ganon in the center surrounded by a bunch of machines. And then on the four corners, there's like bigger machines. She is sitting on three pillows. She's an old lady if she knew Link when... Like, if she knew Link when Link was alive, then she's over 100 years old, which... I guess she shrank. Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intended as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Exposition time! Oh, here's the tapestry. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. It'd be funny if the graphics changed and it's like the NES version. Hyrule oh. was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. So they built a bunch of Wi-Fi spots. Constructed four oh. mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. Except and the Camel Beast. The plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. What is Ganon? Ganon was a thief that touched the Triforce of Power. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity. But this is Calamity Ganon, so it could have been Ganon who got the Triforce, like all three of them. Because when you get that, you can make a wish, you can change reality. That probably turned him into Calamity Ganon. Because it looked like they needed a whole army of robots and stuff to beat him. He used to be a, um, a Garudian thief. He's in Ocarina of Time. And then when he touched the Triforce, he turns into like a pig creature. I want to call him hu human. I mean, he's human like the Garudians are. They're like a, they're like a race in... Um, kind of like the Sheikah here. They're like a race in Hyrule. We strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. I mean, none of them are human. They all have the pointy ears. But in the end, 
Despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid making that great mistake again, the princess left you these words. Oh. Free the four divine beasts, that is what she said. Understood. Free the divine beasts. So that means I gotta go to each place, because because they all the champions are from different kingdoms. So I gotta go to each kingdom and revive them. Let's it seems to me that your Sheikah slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hatino Village might be able to help you. Where is that? Wait, should I have asked her for the other places so she would have marked it on my map? The location shining on the eastern edge is Hatino Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. I guess because that's why it's so far away. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny! Right, well, I, I did that. So, um... Huh. Who's this? Okay, fine. Whatever. Talk to you again! Huh? Is something wrong? Do not... Tell me the steel has slipped from your spine. I realize you have just woken. I'm not suggesting you must defeat Calamity Ganon right this moment. For now, you should focus on getting that broken Shlika, Shika slate fixed. Carry to the research lab. Yeah, um, about the four divine beasts. Wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. I think she's dead. I don't think... May, there might not be a Zelda. Controlled by Jeruk of the Gorons. Okay, so you gotta go there. Vine Beast of Vermeto, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. Vine Beast of Valruta. Mipho of the Zora, that's the Water Kingdom. Divine Beast of Val Naboris, controlled by Ubosa of the Gerudo. That's that's the thing though, it's like, um, everyone Link knew was pretty much dead. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. More information can be found locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Alright, good, she marked them. That's what I needed. Oh. And we're done here. So... Yeah. Apparently, 10,000 years ago, that's when Calamity Ganon first appeared, and the Zelda and the Link of that time were able to beat him using the robots and stuff. A hundred years ago, they were gonna do the same thing, because Calamity Ganon was gonna come back. The problem is, though, the Calamity Ganon infected the robots, so then the robots turned on their masters. Master Link. He's not even the first Link, he's like way down the timeline. Praise upon the land when darkness falls. Please promise to take care. And because uh, because of that, like, the four champions that were the pilots of the Divine Beast died. Hyrule fell, and then Link had to fight all these robots that used to be on their side. And then Zelda couldn't use her powers because she didn't know... The, the Zelda that was that existed a hundred years ago could not activate her powers. She didn't know how. It wasn't until Link died that she figured it out. So then she used what was left of her powers to seal Ganon in the uh, in the castle. But his influence is still like felt throughout the land. Do I have a stable around here. I wonder if my horse is still there. No, my horse ran away. Well, I guess it's just it's time to just go wander around. Where's my map? There it is. Hatano Village! Why isn't it marked again? What is this? It's the Divine Beast. Wait, can I... Oh my god, okay, hold on. I gotta go back and talk to the old lady. I guess I can only have one marker. Yeah. 
There is a quest log, but... Wait, you're right. There is a quest log. Maybe if I... Okay, see, main quest, shrine quest, side quests... I did seek out info. That's totally complete. Yeah, you think it'd be here? Yeah, uh, tell me about that place again, that, that village. Yeah, where is that again? Okay, cool. So, head south, then head east. Because I don't need to do the Divine Beast until the, the slate is fixed, so that's clearly where I need to go next. Okay, there we go. Only one road in this village. I mean, I guess I could climb the mountains and try going that way. You know what? Let's do that, because I haven't, I haven't been there yet. It's unexplored territory. Is there fast travel? There is, but only once I've been somewhere. And it works with the towers, so I have to find a tower, go up on it, and then, like, activate it. What kind of shrine? Well, I can see some shrines there. Got two shrines, and there's a tower, so let's mark him. That one. That one. Anything else around here? Yeah, see, that's the castle, and all that crap there is Calamity Ganon. Hmm, but is that the correct way? I mean, it's more north. I need to go that way to, like, the east. Or this way. Let me go see what's on the other side. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Sledgehammer? Nah, I don't need it. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, well, fine. I'll pick it up. Whatever. I think I got enough stamina to make it. Yeah, you can climb anything. It has a climbing mechanic. Isn't that great? That's like the best part. Though I'm gonna run out of stamina. Might have to eat something. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Do I have any food? Okay, this will up my stamina. Yeah, there's cooking. There's no crafting, though. It's weird, too, because, like, you know, Daggerfall has climbing, but then Morrowind, they took it out, and then, like, you know, Skyrim and Oblivion, they just, like, they took out, like, a lot of stuff. And it's funny that Nintendo makes an open-world game, and they put in climbing and all this other stuff, and it's not, you know, like, it's... It's not as hardcore as those games. What's with that little cliff? It's just there. Hmm. Yeah, this is why I have the zoom function, is so that I can, like, plan things out. Right, or you can't, like, you know, uh, jump on, like, the rooftop of a building. See, now, one complaint I do have about the Elder Scrolls games is I wish you, like, and I guess this goes with, like, every RPG, is I wish when your character got super strong it would turn into, like, a semi-superhero game, you know, like, you're jumping over stuff, like, you can, like, you don't need bombs, you can just break walls with your hands, because, I mean, you're epic level, right? Like, 
When you're epic level, you should you should be like super strong. Like you can cut down columns of of stone. Got a lot of flowers up here. Might as well take them. Ah. Right, I picked all the flowers. What else is up here? I mean, other than the view. Okay, so we got some towers that way. This is the tallest peak that I've been able to find, so let's see what else I can, like, check out. So, okay, so I can I can get these shrines here. It looks like there's one over there. I can have up to five waypoints, and then there's a tower. Well, that should be pretty much what I'm doing right now is... I'll hit that one, that one, hit that tower, and then double back and hit these places. Right, here we go. Shrine's nearby. Yes, I can see it. Coming in for a landing. Oh, I hope that water's... I should have thought this out a little bit better. I'm running out of stamina! How do I just... There we go. I'm gonna run out. We're gonna... Oh! Oh, what's up, lizard guy? How are you doing? Here's another one. I mean, I mean, he's basically holding on to a, a paraglider, you know? It's like hanging from a, uh, from a ledge. What's this spear? Lysel spear. Alright, whatever. Another Lysel? Oh, I can jump around too. We can. We'll all jump around here. I got one of these. A bo Whoa! Finally, a boomerang. Now, now, how do I use the boomerang? Does it count as a sword? It's definitely not an arrow. Check this thing out. Oh, I guess I throw it, huh? Kind of self-explanatory. Oh, it's... Oh, you gotta catch it? Where'd it go? Oh, I gotta get better at the catching part. No way to cut grass. There we go. Now I can hunt with it. Like, I can take out these birds. Uh, let's go into the shrine. Bombs are lighter than they appear. Use the wind? Really? The wind? I guess they're magical bombs, so they probably have, like, no weight. Dakatus. Dakatus. Sunken scoop. Oh, I mean, this looks like... Can I climb it? No. Doesn't seem like it. Nope. 
Alright, so I need to get a ball in there to power it. These balls? I guess he can't throw- oh no 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 no! Crap. I guess he can't throw him when he jumps? Might not be high enough. Oh, this thing looks like it comes out or something. Alright, let's try this. You're going to bed? Alright, Nevander. Thanks for hanging out, you have a good one. Weird, these things float. Oh, huh, what do you know? They do float. Nothing to stop time. What about magnets? That looks like something. Here we go. Oh, I see. Okay. Scoop it. Scoop it up. I get it to drop the thing. <laughs> Can I rotate? No, not really. Oh, that's neat. I might need that again. Switch. Hmm. This thing doesn't float, so maybe I can use it to activate the switch. Let's scoop one of these things up first. the switch then. That's right over the switch. Huh, so let me guess, it's pressure sensitive as soon as I pick it up again. So you want to have that in there before you hit the switch. Out. Out there, come on. There we go. No, 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 no. There we go. That's good. That's good. I can't see. Out 
here. Oh, that was it? Okay. I miss the old dungeons, I gotta say. These physics puzzles are nice, but they should have been part of a bigger dungeon. So I need like four of them. I think the next thing I'll level up will be my stamina. And again, six hearts would be nice. But then again, being able to run for a long time would also be nice. The heck is that? Please. Uh, that's clearly hostile. I mean, whatever it is. Oh, goody. One of them has a really nice shield. Oh, but he does a lot of damage. These guys might be a little too much for me. Go with the iron sledge. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness, it's like a one hit. like the bone hand. I might as well try to pick it up. There we go, there's a shield. Oh, 15, nice. Sloppy craftsmanship offers poor durability. Alright, it's time to get rid of some of the garbage items I have. I think we're done with these clubs. Wizard dude. What is his deal? It's like a Poe. Oh, wrong button.
Let that thing go. Okay, he doesn't do that much damage. Oh, I dropped my weapon though. What a weird enemy. Lightning rod. Two balls of electricity. Uh, its gem contains lightning from the high hills. It is not recommended to use as a melee weapon. Okay. Well, then how would I use it then? Like, do I just toss it? Oh. I see. Okay, well, that's not that bad. And then it recharges. Neat. I don't need that shield. That shield was gonna break anyways. It's a halberd? A rusty halberd, though. So there are wands. Cutter's axe. Should I keep that? Need the hammers for mining. This is not really important, though. Might as well use this. Also, is this better? No, it's red arrow, so it's not. That was a pretty good score. And I got a lightning rod. Any place I can make a fire? It's some rusty swords, huh? Yep, rusty. Rusty claymore. been like a fort or an outpost. I could try to swim over there. Looks like you can walk in this water, so. Or swamp, I guess. It's... Is that a ghost or is that like an electrical fish? Or is that a fairy? What is that? Oh, what do you know? I missed? What the heck is that thing? An electric bat? I better duck. Oh no, he saw me. Oh crap. Grab it! Oh, I'm a... Where'd it go? There it is. What else can I eat? Well, that one... No. Mushroom mix, I might as well eat that. Crap! Should've jumped to the left. Right, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? that weird bat. Oh, it's not too hard. Electric. Well, that's an electric bat. Another spear. I don't need it. Oh, they just appeared out of nowhere. 
Well, hopefully they're not hostile. I don't think they are. Yeah, they're not. I guess these are like flooded plains. Little seeds, plant bears. Uh -huh. Boost my movement speed. I gotta start making making some dishes. Maybe there's I mean there's definitely a fire over there. The Moblins. There's also ruins up here. I'm gonna check this these ruins out first. I don't really need two of these. Because I need a hammer to mine. If I see any, like, uh, stones. anything here. Rocks. I can pick up that one rock. Weird how the rocks have have the same pattern though. Oh, let's do that. Let's go with this. That didn't blow up the rocks, oddly enough. Guess that's how they laid their foundation. Aha! Here we go. <laughs> so I can drop this like right here. Oh, I was right. in that tree. There's also a tower I can climb. Might be something up there. Ah, it's just apples. So I know they have a lookout that's blue. Blue ones are stronger than the red ones. Zap shroom. Hmm. Crap, he saw me. Okay, they heard that. Where are they going? They're going over... They're alerted, but they don't know. There's a chest here. Nice. Headshot. Oh, crap. Alright, well. Wow, that's a lot of them. 
I'll just hit them when they come across the uh, corner here. And they look stupid. We'll go with this. Oh, crap. Get up, get up, get up. Claymore, don't want it. Not the best spear. One of them had a decent. Oh, it's a rusty shield. Never mind. Looks like they have like a magical weapon of some sort. I want a. I want a bow. Medical plant, uh, it's durable yet flexible, raises your defense. Oh, that's not bad. Right now! Alright, so the rain probably took out their fire. I don't know if I, I don't think I can relight it when it's raining. And then again, I like I don't have any means of cooking food with it, so I guess I don't need the fire. Here's some arrows. You know, which I might as well equip the bow. And what blade? Hopefully it's rupees. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, I wonder if I can climb that. Might run out of stamina before I get there. What's going on? Leto, hey you, oh you there. Well, who's talking to me? Over here, I'm over here. Wait, what are you doing swimming? Oh, you're Azora, that's why. Like, what are you doing swimming in the rain like this? I apologize for calling on you so suddenly. I am Leto, a proud member of the distinguished Zora. As you are a real Hylian, or Hylian, I had no choice but to call upon you. Will you please spare me a moment of your time? I mean, yeah, I guess I got nothing else to do. Thank you so very much. You see that tower, the one atop the mountain yonder? I need you to go upstream of Zora River, which runs along the north side of that tower to Inoga Bridge. Inogo Bridge? Mm. I can see it in your eyes, you're asking yourself, why me? Well, what am I doing if I go there? Reasonable question for a stranger accosted by a passing Zora in such a manner. Ooh. But I must assure you, this venture will be very profitable for you as well. Well, if there's profit. You see, Prince Sidon of the Zora is in desperate search of a strong Hylian. And as this is a royal request from the prince itself, it's safe to assume a generous reward is in the cards. <laughs> That's why I ask you to meet with Prince Sidon at Inogo Bridge, along the Zora River. Just, yeah, yeah, I know. Just upstream over there? Okay. 
Well, I'll go do it when I feel like it. Right now I feel like eating apples. There we go. Oh, I can't climb. It's raining. Gotta get back on this thing, get my stamina. I can get if I can sneak up on him and get like a critical. Oh, there's all these thorns. I guess I'm gonna have to burn this or something. What? Why is my sword sparking? What? What was that? What, what? What the heck? Well, I didn't know your sword could just short circuit and kill you. This is after I got the halberd, right? Oh, that means I gotta talk to that Zora again. Yeah, the treasure chest isn't there. Oh, that, that made no sense. Alright, well, if I have to burn the, uh, the thorns, I might as well talk to the Zora guy again. I can't skip it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, I might as well do what he what he asked because it's like I don't think I can access this uh, this shrine. Especially in the rain. Oh, good. Also, I'm, I'm probably gonna go over there anyways. Wrong one. figure out how to cook food without the, um, with just using the fire. Any place outside of the water, or like, no, there's, well, this is like the only place where it's not raining, but it's gonna be a pain in the butt to make a fire exactly in the arch, or like right here. The heck? What does that? It's weird. I guess it's lightning? Maybe I shouldn't be wearing anything metal? 
Yeah, I'm starting to think that might be what's going on now. Well, holy crap, really? Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh, but that's how I can get fire. This a lightning storm might actually uh, help me out here. Throw it! I tried throwing it! <sighs> These controls, man. I'll never get used to them. Do I have to talk to the Zora again? Oh, thank god I don't. Alright, let's try... Let's try it. steel armor, so we're good on that. Just need to find the entrance, then get my sword out, and then hopefully have the entrance, uh... Where's the entrance? As bad as it could have been. What do we got? Well, that's too many hearts. Cold resistance, steam fruit. <sighs> really? Come on. Oh, and it breaks, of course. When you try to do anything. Alright. Let's get rid of this guy first. Okay, good. Now eat the fish. Oh, let's see. What? Wait for it to spark. Maybe I can cut the thorns. Cutting the thorns. Um, be a bomb. This was all in vain. Have to come back later when I'm better prepared.
That way it is. Oh, and now the storm clears up, of course. Is this a fishing village? Uh, it might be hostile. Let's find out. I definitely hear some enemies. Are they down there? Encampment down there, place. Yeah, it's probably hostile. Either that or that's like the Zoras. Maybe they got a cave. That's an encampment of some sort. I hear him, I just don't see him. Hmm. Didn't alert any of them? apples. Not totally worth it. Oh, it's definitely a cave. Okay. And they got fire. Well, Rick, I don't think I've ever fought a gray one before. He might be a little too tough. See how sm They're not very smart, are they? Bats, too. You're like, there we go, we'll fight over here. Can't seem to pick up a shield. His friend didn't even care, he just sort of left him. He just left him. Looks like they had some supplies. Wow, okay, that was worth it. It's like a... Eh, it's not rusted, so I might as well take it. And then, oh, I don't have my hammer. Crap. Can't mine the, uh, the ore. Well, maybe I can attempt to cook? I don't think I can. We'll test it out with an apple. Well, it burns the apple. Oh, there we go. Now it's a baked apple. Okay, so you can kind of cook. Just not as well. Or you can't combine ingredients, but you can cook ingredients. You got anything raw? Hmm. 
Uh, I don't really have anything that's worth cooking, though. Like, maybe... Maybe fish? Find fish. Or find, like, a thing that can actually combine stuff. Well, I can cook the fish at least. Gave me a little bit more. Eh, maybe I should cook some apples. Why not? Don't eat that one. Eat the raw apple there. It's like half a heart, right? make it to that tower. I could avoid this whole town. That's yeah, definitely hostile. You didn't expect him to show up from this angle. That enemy over there, patrolling. He's ranged. No one's alerted yet. Over here, we got fire, but those are just torches. Shack. Doesn't be any other treasure chests. Hey, it looks like smooth sailing. Nothing in the shack. Two with one. What's this stuff? Bridge, like barricades. Hmm. I could kill them and steal their fish.
Though they, they don't have a chest or any weapons, so it's like, it's not really worth it. I think because I don't want to break my weapons fighting them. I swear, if you come up here, I'm gonna... That's right. What's this thing beeping about? I see a shrine. I mean, there's one over there. Oh, that was neat. How'd you do that? It must have been a wild one. He didn't even have a weapon. Crap. Got a chest. But I don't get those. What's with the rock? The big one. Hmm. Where's their base? Oh, really? Crap. The Spike Club is better than the Traveler's Sword? Yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. Oops. Ah! Uh. <laughs> I had a plan. Okay, let's try it again. New plan. First kill the bats. That's way too far. Uh, did distract him. So much for games. How far does Link throw it? He throws it fairly far, so. I just want to blow up the ledge that that guy's on. Well, that'll do it. Alright, I definitely gotta get out of this water. This is bad. Attack power boost. Go 
careful with that. I need a fish. Let's get out of the water. Ah, I see. I see how it is. Shock arrow, bomb arrow. Alright, now where's my shock arrow? Was a moblin. Anything behind the waterfall? Ooh. What kind of Zelda game is this? Other stuff. Got some dead fish. And let's see what's in that chest. Nah, it's not the one. It's this one. Perfect. And just... Hunter shield. It sucks. Bring luck, huh? No. Well, inventory full. I don't even think. I don't even think I have a shield crappier than that. I mean, this one's gonna break, so maybe that would be the only reason to get rid of it. Wish I knew more stats, though. It just gives me the defense. It doesn't tell me the durability of the item. Cause there might be some items that are like. The defense isn't very high, but they're more durable. Which now kind of makes sense. Oh, another one. So there is a shrine over there, but let's cook the fish. go after that shrine. Okay, well that's pretty nice. That bow's actually decent. I saw one over here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Loose stuff over there. Get the mushroom, get the mushroom. Just 12? Holy crap. Okay, there's a ladder, so I, I don't think that affects my stamina. I climb a ladder, right? 
Gotta figure. Let's get up there. There's a lizard on the wall. Right over there. Someone up here? Nope. Right, so if I make this jump... Rest for a bit. Yeah, I really gotta up the stamina so I can climb faster. I can pull off one jump. Then after that, just pure climbing. Let's see, well, I got that one. There's that one over there that I don't know how to get. Unless I, like, glide all the way over there, which would be kind of weird. I'll get to that one when I'm done with this tower. this guy actually let's do this first <laughs> then figure out who the heck this guy is Now loading. Hmm. Regional map extracted. Like a... This is Zora? I guess this is the Zora Kingdom. Wow, I cannot believe it! Um, excuse me. Yes, you, I am Groove of the Zora. It is apparent that you are a traveler, but may I ask what brought you here? I could ask the same. Very astute of you. Excellent query indeed. I, by order of Prince Sidon of Zora's domain, am searching for a Hylian, or I was, but then I fell asleep. I awoke to a loud noise and awful quaking, and now here I am. I'd like to get down and be on my way, but I sim I'm simply too high. I need to figure something out. Prince Sidon is down at the bridge below, but for some reason I cannot seem to catch his attention. But you? You are Hylian, yes? Well then, my luck is improving. Prince Sidon! I found a Hylian! I guess I gotta go down there anyways. Doesn't seem to notice my struggle. Perhaps I should swallow my fear and jump to the river below. Then I could return to him. He must be worried sick. No, no, can't do it. I'm too high. Yeah, I mean, I won't blame you for that. Likely to meet the gods of the Ever After before I ever see Prince Sidon again. Aww. Mr. Hylian, I must apologize. It will be some time before I can get back to Prince Sidon. Please, you must leave me here and go on ahead. Yes, so. He's down there, huh? Well, there's, there's a shrine I need to get. Let's see what else is around here. Oh, 
Well, I should be going that way. But I'm here anyway, so let's do it. Oh my, how wonderful you are, Hylian. Yes, yes I am. Perfect, it must be my lucky day. Oh, ahem, I apologize for calling out to you so suddenly. I am Taufiu of the Zora. I have been searching for Hylian like you for a very long time. My home Zora domain is in terrible danger. That is why Prince Sidon sent me in search of a strong Hylian warrior. He's over there, huh? At Inogo Bridge. Would you please talk to the prince and perhaps save us all? We would be ever so grateful. Wouldn't we? I still have to upgrade my slate. At least your armor does break, that would be really annoying. I mean, your shield breaks, but that's... Doesn't really count. To you who set foot in the shrine, in the name of the goddess, I offer a trial. Always kind of the same crap. A minor test of strength. So I gotta fight something, huh? Is that what this is? Yep, I gotta fight. Oh, it's just that. Sometimes they give me a weapon. That's not good. Oh, oh, really? Okay, well, I didn't know it fired a second time. It's like, these are just trial and error tactics. It's like, well, I don't know. do I have? Let's use this one since it does more damage. Fire is not going to do anything to it. Maybe electrical? Against metal.
I know, he's got some pattern. He'll do the spin thing, right? And then if he hits a pillar, he gets all shocked. That did it. It was interesting, though. I'll give him that. And now I got a guardian shield. Oh, it can deflect their beams. Nice. What do you mean, don't take it? Here, hold on. Get rid of this. Drop that crap. I want to use the good stuff against the guardians. Speaking of which, I gotta use the crap stuff now. Actually, let's drop that. Let's... So keep the soldier's bow. Use this one, and then use normal arrows. And with this, we'll just use this. Oh, and my shield. Chest, oh man, either rupees or like a really good shield or sword would be nice. Uh, or a really amazing bow, yeah. Makes it quite once favored by high- I mean, yikes. That does more than double the damage of the bow that I have equipped. Even it's better than the soldier's bow. I gotta find a place, though, that sells this stuff. Either that or a place I can farm all the good items. Now I got enough to level up again. You know what? I, I know I said I was going to do stamina. But some of these guys hit so hard that I might as well, like, do hearts. Because I can always eat stuff to recover stamina. But, you know, if something kills me, like, does five damage, then I'm dead instantly. Like, I can't just eat stuff to get food. So it's like, it's better to have more hearts. Is this the prince over here? He, lo he does look different. Say hey there, young one. A yo ho ho above, to you. Above you. I don't talk to fish. I eat them. Why is he red? Sidon. I mean, I guess because he's the prince. But they—I've never seen a red one before. Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? No. I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. Well, are you gonna tell me about Grand Adventure? You have a poof, but no shirt. Ah, huh. oh, a Hylian, yes, I knew it. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I am Sidon, the Zora Prince. And what is your name? Gong, please tell me. Link! Your name is Link? What a fantastic name! Hmm. hmm. Well, I cannot shake the feeling that I've heard it somewhere before. Well, in any case, it's a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you. I've seen the way you work. I can tell by how you carry yourself that you are no ordinary person. Link, you must be a strong warrior among the Hylians. Oh, yeah, that's kind of right. Just as I suspected. I am a Zora Prince, after all. I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. Yes, exquisite. I've been searching for someone like you for a long while. A man like you? Link, who carries himself with power. Right now, Zora's domain is in grave danger because of the massive rainfall coming from the divine beast, Valruta. Oh, so it's supposed to be raining like this, huh? Please promise, promise you will help us. We need your strength, warrior. Won't you please come to Zora's domain with me? Sure thing. Wow, really? Thank you, Link. You are indeed the man I thought you were. Now Zora's domain will be saved for certain. No time to waste. Hurry up and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you will need to go straight along this path. I see you've marked it. As such, the path to the domain may be a bit treacherous. 
You will likely have a tough fight in store. There are monsters up ahead that attack with electricity. And I'm in the rain, so that would really suck. Don't give up. I believe in you! Well, that's right. I have something that I would like to give you. It's just a small trinket to show that I have faith in you. Oh, good. An electro elixir. Mid-level resistance to electricity. It will increase your resistance to electricity. I am not sure why, but it, it effects do not seem to work for Zora, perhaps because it was made specifically for Hylians. It should work wonders for you, though. I shall go on ahead and make sure there is not anything strange going on where you are headed. I'm counting on you. I mean, I am going to go there, but not for a while. I just, I was just in the area. I kind of realized I've been going the wrong way. Yeah, this one. That's the one I really need to start doing, is the locked mementos. Xenoblade Chronicles? Oh, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> Let me check the map here. So... Wait, is that where it is? No, that's just the pin. Yeah, I'm gonna delete it. Yeah, it's over here. And it doesn't look like I can just kind of reach it from there, so I gotta, like, basically backtrack. But I got this tower. One of the cool things about the towers is their quick travel locations. Okay, and I think the ranch or a stable is around here somewhere. Moblin. Not moblins, but. Bobkins, I don't know, whatever. Crappy goblins. I also have to go in this dungeon and get that hat that I didn't get last time. Well, let's see, maybe maybe I have the patience to get it this time. Wish I had a hammer, I could mine the flint. What's up on that ridge? Oh, just rocks, okay. getting this hat the first time I played, so I, I was able to figure this puzzle out. I was just too tired to figure it out last time I was here. Is it going to respawn? Okay. That's, that 
It's like playing pinball. Okay, now to put some weight on the switch. Would a bomb work? Nope, bombs don't work. Wow, really? That sucks. Maybe it's one of those barrels. It's definitely one of them. Yep. Bandana. Ancient technology that improves my core. All right, well, at least climbing won't be a pain anymore. Then I don't look cool, though. I don't have the hood. Well, then maybe the bandana looks cool. Oh, I look rad now. Now I'm Axel Rose Link. Look out. Welcome to the jungle! Can I just exit? <laughs> no, fuck me! Can I just can I just exit by going to the end of the dungeon? Oh my god, how much closer do I need to be to that thing? Well, I guess I can glide down there, right? Oh, sh damn it! How much health do I have left? I should have like two hearts. Oh, okay, not that bad. Oh, why? Why is this such a pain in the ass? for it. All right, so I got the fast climbing speed bandana now. Which that should, that should like at least, I don't know how much faster it makes my climbing, but. At least now when I find a tower, it won't take as long. 
Now, does that mean I burn less stamina? Too? Like... That's not that much faster. I think it burns the same amount of stamina, it's just that I climb faster. Not the best item, but, you know, whatever. Wonder if I can mine these without the hammer, like, just use dia um, the bombs. Nope, you need the hammer. Well, at least I can cook food here. Throwing spear. Looks like they're partying. How oh, they went to bed. Partied themselves out, though. They had, they had too much fun. I in like stealth mode. What the fuck was that all about? <sighs> Soldier's broadsword. Oh, I'll take it. Nice. Okay, so it's time to get cooking. Let's see. We got to get something that does something, though. It provides a stamina recovery effect. Right, let's hold that. One more, maybe the herb. <laughs> Must be good for something. Yeah, sure. Let's combine that with this cricket. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I make an elixir. That's a decent. What does this stuff do? Applying a bit of elemental. Okay, sure. And Octo Balloon. The inflatable Octorock organ has a lot of lift, so attach it to items you want to see float. That's silly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stamina's 
stamina restoration. Yeah, I definitely have that. I'll like move silently. That'll give me a speed boost. Oh, uh. made crap. Sometimes you just make crap. Wow, that radish is great. What this pumpkin? Wheat lotus seeds. Let's, let's see what this cre creates. <laughs> Wow. It's already cooked stuff. Something with like effects, this gives me like stamina. I guess when in doubt, just cook like the same thing a bunch of times. That should have given me some kind of stamina potion. Nice. Same thing with this. This should like really up my stealth level. Ten minutes, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna give it like some health benefit though, maybe put like one herb in there, see what happens. what Link spent his whole night doing. Sauteed nuts! I don't want to... Ah, well, whatever. A little spice. Pretty much cooked all the crap ingredients. All the like stuff that doesn't even give me a heart or like half a heart. So we're good on that. 
I gotta get more of those things that increase my stamina. Let me look here. What is, um, as we eat this? Critical horn. Opal. Oh, wait, here it is. What is this? Book it. Oh, and temporarily increases my movement speed. Oh, yeah, definitely get those purple mushrooms then. Rush room. this guy. Oh, this is the life. Good evening. Don't see a lot of travelers passing through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget that the world almost ended years ago. There are still monsters wandering around in the area, and the Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. You should know a thing or two about elixirs. Elixirs? You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are not are no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed, others raise your resistance. Hmm. I'm actually impressed you made it this far without any knowledge of elixirs. I can't have it in my conscience if something happens to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. Oh, wow. A hasty elixir. You use it to run away. The recipe is a hightail lizard and monster parts, so I usually have a stock of ten or so on hand. All right. Can you give me directions? No! Hi. They're wild, so till you calm them, it's gonna be crazy. Trust me. Wait, but who, you're not the guy that I need to talk to. Who's the dude? <sighs> hey, I saw that look you gave me. Oh. Fine. You don't believe me? Let's go, pal. You and me, right here, right now. You want to challenge the second place Hyrule horse taming competition winner to, to a tame off? You got it, mister. Oh, okay. Oh. That's the spirit. The only rule is that you must bring a wild horse back to the spot within the time limit. Any one of them will do. My record is two minutes flat, so you need to bring back a wild horse within that time. Oh. Prepare for extreme taming. I didn't know I was going to be doing this, but all right. You know, the best way to do this... Oh. Yeah, the best way to do this would be to drink this elixir. And then eat one of my stealth thingies. Almost there. It's there, come on. Big cloud. Time to spare. Amazing! Beat my two minute record so easily. I mean, I won second place in the Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. To be fair, it was just my brother and I competing. Anyway, here's a purse for winning the second official horse Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. You earned it. 50 rupees. Eh. Maybe Hyrule isn't a bad isn't so bad after all. Alright. Goodbye, horses. How fast is this horse? <laughs> eh. Not that great. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Who's this guy? Tonight! Already disappeared today. 
Ooh. Really? Anything else you want to ask? No. Is it a bow? Let me look at this moon. Where is this moon? Hmm. Oh, or whatever. Yeah, I'm not gonna go after that treasure yet. Talk to Beetle? Uh, nah, I don't need to. Hi. Get me a soft bed. Oh. And Link had a weird dream. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Yeah, an extra heart will be. Get over here so I can get my horse. Ah, oh, nah, I don't want to register that one. Uh, take horse. Strength, speed, stamina. Yeah, I want horse. Ah. Oh. You get separated from your horse, just whistle and it'll come running, but your horse isn't magic, right? Okay, so... I need to head north. Take that road. What else is here? Parkville's Naval, Mount Rosado, the Hickey Woods, Babina Forest. Lots of stuff! And there's a tower. Yeah. Guess I can try that one out. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bobkin over there, isn't it? Yeah. on this field. Oh, I didn't mean for you to hit a tree. <laughs> and there's a gate. I guess this gate... There's a last stand here, it looks like. Port Katana. My name's Garil. Come to see Fort Hatano, I'll take it. Yeah, sure. Figured as much. It's a well it's well worth seeing. Fort Hatano was the last line of defense between Hatano Village and the awful tragedy all those years ago. Everyone's got to come and pay their respects at least once in life, right? Well, that explains all the dead robots. Or guardians. I should harvest them all. Looks like some of them made it to the walls. What is that over there? Is it just a boat? It's just a boat. I think this is where Link fell. Was in this battle. So, 
Which explains why there's all these dead guardians. Snail. <coughs> Ancient screw. Got these frogs. There's nowhere to run, frog. Speed boost. Oh crap, that one's still active. That's not good. Oh, 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 no, 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 you don't. Let's, let's move fast. Real fast. I cook food there. There's like a evil dead cabin. Must be done the other way. Wait, maybe this person has an axe. Jeez. Well, it doesn't look like they have an axe either. Nice fish. Alright, let's try to get the apples then without an axe. Oh wait, I know. I know. There we go. Green mushrooms. Need those. Lives here? Really? Ancient text. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. I mean that one statue that's still alive? There's a shrine here? I could go after it. Let's find out. Then again, what weapons do I have that can hurt it? That one. It'll probably break, though. Old wagon. Chess. Blazing shield. Uh. Or the opal. Guess I could try to take it on. That's the original door. I feel like if I try to fight him, all my weapons are gonna break and then I'll have nothing. So, if I had more, like, some more powerful weapons, I'd go after it. Well, this guy's got a horse, so oh, you think you're fancy. Oh. Your uh, outfit there. Just take what I say, I have the keenest eye of fashion in the land. 
I know, right? I guess I gotta be really, really fashionable for her to be impressed. Where's the tower? I saw it. On the way here. Might be above. Interesting cave. Or... Cliff, rather. these people <laughs> oh wait can I sidestep oh I can that's weird huh. so you're familiar with both sword and bow correct that's a good skill set why don't you join the Yiga clan no Powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero thought long dead. That's stupid, lady! Uh. I see. Alright, let's go. Oh, nice. And bananas! <laughs> that was an interesting ambush. It's an arrow. Vicious Sickle. Grim weapon favored by the Yiga. Half moon shaped blade. Durability is low. I guess I better be using it then, huh? There's the tower. Shrine's over there, too. Hmm. How am I gonna get to that tower? Gotta cross. Oh, no, no, no. Do not stop here. Do not get attacked by the guy with the hoe. Like they're trying to hunt. Uh, doesn't look like they're guarding anything. Oh, he spotted me. We got the sickle. Oh, you had a shield. Shield of the mind's eye. Can't carry more shields. Right, what shield crap do I have? Drop this one. Normal shield. Gotta buy arrows next time I get the chance. Let's drop that. We don't... Oh, so let's drop this crap. This 
That's terrible. Guessing he's not going to turn around, so I'm just going to go this way. Oh, you got like a spear thingy. Serpentine Spear. Spear Masters, the Sheikah Tribe, can use a crescent shape to snag. Oh, nice. Targets are all over the place. Two over there. Might as well try to kill that guy. Ah. Now he starts moving. Be like more of them. It's up on that hill. This used to be like a village. Oh, there's still more moblins? Or bopkins or whatever the fuck? He's guarding a bunch of nuts. Oh, I didn't see him. That's fine. What's he going to do? Spear. Oh, it sucks. Link here. Oh, there's arrows. Nice. Still can pick up the pot, though. Our targets. Okay, there's a bunch.
Oh, my horse is on the radar. That's good. I know that. That's still the same house. I think I cleared the forest out, so it should be okay. Yep, he's okay. Got that, took out that. might be more targets. Because I have a feeling I'll get a seed if I do all these targets. That looks to be all of them. Is it because I didn't hit that one target with the... I used a sword instead? A little raft over there, that's not gonna do much. Yeah, that looks like something. I don't think I hit that one. Nope. Hey, well, my bow's gone. That thing. Yep. Where's the tower? It's all the way over there. Might be able to make it there. Oh, wait, let me get a. Oh, hey, I can pick up the head? Nice. You just kick it over there. Okay, so I might be able to climb up from this cliffside. Maybe. Steel door. I don't think I need that steel door for anything. Shame I don't have a hammer. I guess it could be worse, it could be raining. be able to make it to there. Go on 
some diagonals. Oh crap! All right. Uh, let's see. I got a stamina potion. Well, that's an energy elixir. Drink that. Shooting star? No, that wasn't a shooting star, that was something else. Oh crap. as a weapon. I got the sickle. Drop that because that's creepy. Yeah, that's a good opener. No, is this thing full of full of thorns? Fox? Oh, huh, it is a fox. What's up? Ah, oh, crap. So there's a very specific way to climb this. I hope. to use the stamina. Shame, too. How many of these do I have? So it is reachable. I should be able to do it. If I rest here, and then if I run out of stamina, I can just use... Use my, um, stamina food or whatever. So I think I can rest on this other one, too, so I should be just fine. village? Yeah, that must be the village. Must be the lab or something. Couple of shrines. I'll get a better look when I'm up there.
And I'll mark down the shrines I can see from here. Very mountainous. a tree fort of some sort. That's just a rock. That, that tree lit up. It just kind of looks like it. Can't see any others. Just that one. How would I get there, though? Jump down from here. Not that hard to get there. The horse is over there. Let's take that path, and then you're at the village. Yep, that's what you do. Okay. Could be could be another ambush of ancient parts. Hey, the name's Telly. I'm a bit of a treasure hunter if you get my drift. Mm. Oh, a thief, huh? You know what I know what you're thinking, a treasure hunter. Why that's nothing but a glorified junk collector. First of all, that's really harsh, and second, it's tougher than it looks. You're very defensive. I get attacked by monsters all the time. Hey, question for you. Do you have any interest in guardian remains? Need guardian remains, as far as I know. I can sell them. You know what? No. What a... Now, why would I want to buy them unless I can make a guardian or something? I feel like I should keep them. Keep them for now. Especially considering how much he's selling them for. Oh, you bastard! Thanks, <laughs> help. I guess we better help this guy. Yeah, looks like it. saw them coming this is exactly why i didn't want to go to go to, go truffle hunting lousy gnat all right i better go save your friend
Truffles, huh? Party truffles. <laughs> she doesn't even mention that she got knocked out. I know, I know. It's dangerous for two folks to travel on their own these days. You don't have to tell me twice, but when I think about how wonderful those truffles taste, all the work You could die, lady! At least arm yourself with weapons of some sort. I just wanted to pick this iron shroom. Farming ho! What's up? Have you ever been attacked by a farming ho before? Oh crap, this thing is slow. doing it's like I'm declaring war on all of them wait the farming hoe does more damage than my my shika Beeping like mad. Where's the shrine? A broom, really. Armed with a broom? Or a mop? see the shrine somewhere acorns all right at least I cleared the area might as well get some mushrooms No truffles, though. Fight me, sir? Who are you? Be on your way, you're suspicious man. I'm a traveler. Mm. You certainly do appear to be a Hylian like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folks, so sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, oh, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need at the general store, and the inn is just back there. Oh, so this is like a legit town. The other question is, do you have a stable? Oh, there's the shrine. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 
What about this radish? You don't like radishes? What's wrong with you? Hmm? No, you just like apples, huh? Okay, fine. My radish, then. My floating Hadoken radish. Here? Come on. It's a radish. No? Alright, fine. Might as well do this or else the beeping's gonna drive me insane. Doesn't look like a combat one. Talk about trial and error, the Agena apparatus. So, okay. Here's the exit, gotta get something in there to power it. Tilt the controller. Oh. Super monkey balls. Oh my goodness, really? How am I supposed to get the, um, the treasure chest? Like, what's that all about? I'd feel so much better if I could use the analog sticks in this. Alright, let's see if I can I hit that chest? No. Really wanna get it lined up here. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain. I can already tell. I gotta make this, like, jump with it. Oh my god, no! This is hell! It's the worst. Might be better if I did it in handheld mode, possibly, I don't know. Ah! What's really weird is how it's aligned. God. Right, I think this would be a lot easier in handheld mode. 
And again, it might even be more of a pain in the ass, because then, like, the screen would keep moving. Oh god, no! Come on! Oh, I have literally no patience for stuff like this. I mean, if I could use the analog sticks, then, then I could do this, but it's like... To actually have to try to balance the controller itself is just... It's just torture. Man. That was close. No. Alright, I'm just gonna end the stream and save. Since I need a break before I attempt this, that's for sure. But I might be back. I might be back in a cut in an hour or two playing this, or I might come back and play uh, some Morrowind since I got that going. But this, se this seems like a good place to end it. I need to come in, in on this puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, but this thing fresh. Like, wow. Let me make sure I saved. I'm, I believe I did, so we should be okay. Yep. Alright guys, anyone who's lurking, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for joining me while I play more of this. I know, I know my hours are getting kind of stupid, but hopefully uh, tomorrow, or today rather, like I'm on in like decent hours. Alright guys, have a good one.